It's a new year, a new season, and we are underway. Really dominating fashion here today is going to win. Two, three, four for the final time. Win number one of the season, only just barely. He is going to win here at the Nazareth Speedway. Wins the Everson Electric 100K. going to be Igor Moretto's going to eke it out. Cup Series champion is Shane Lake in the number 15. Welcome to the NOF SRL. Round number six of the 2021 Car Quest Indy Racing League brings us to the Bluegrass State, the Kentucky Speedway in Sparta, Kentucky for this race number six of 16, the Thornton's 125K. 30 cars going to take on this mile and a half track for 52 laps and someone is going to stick their name in the title contention here after this one. We saw a wild race at Riverside last week, and we are ready to do it again here back on the Oval this time, Kentucky Speedway, and it's going to be a fun one here to continue the 2021 season. So let's go down Trekside, we'll take a look at your starting lineup and get this pace lap started. And the engines fire here at Kentucky, 30 going to roll off, it's Will Parrish on the front row in the pole position alongside the 26 of Trey Smith. In row number two, we find the 22 of Braden Perez alongside the 41 of now points leader, Nathan Baird. In row number three, we find Landon Smith Jr. and Arthur Xavier, 2781. In row number four, it is the 20 of Trey Wright alongside the 18 of Charlie Davenport. And rounding out the top 10. It is the 60 of Keegan Thompson alongside the 30 of Derek Hamill. You see the rest of your starting lineup and the Bucky's Race Report on the left side of your screen. Everyone's starting here, so you don't need to worry about any resets. Thank goodness for that. Will Parrish going to lead the field around to the green flag here in the Thornton's 125K. Race number 6 of 16. We're almost halfway done here in the 2021 season. Waiting for that green flag to fly here at Kentucky. And the first race in the Bluegrass State here on the Trinity River Network is green. We're racing at Kentucky Speedway. Braden Perez leads lap number one of the Thorns 1, 25K ahead of pole sitter Will Parrish. Three wide and almost four wide for third there as Logan Williams in the nine working his way up. Keegan Thompson looking for his fourth win of 2021 here on the Trinity River Network. They're three wide in the middle. And how about the 20 of Trey Wright coming down low. And Spinner and a crash out of turn number four. Up into the wall. It's a few. The 55 of Christian Vargas, the 45, I believe, of Jackson Harrison. Ethan Farley may have gotten a piece too. And correction, that was not the 20 of Trey Wright. That was the 21 of Roberto Crown Jr. They're running similar cars this race. There is Trey Wright, slipped back to the 10th position off the start of the race. Already coming down the pit road, Braden Perez, leader, coming down onto the pit road. Expected the pit cycle to be around lap 30 or so, like it is as, at, at typically most mile and a halfs. But uh, Braden Perez electing to come down early, and that's going to hand the lead to Roberto Crown Jr. ahead of Logan Williams, Noah Clifton, Keegan Thompson, uh, William Brock in the five. The 41 of 
Nathan Baird, 4 of Will Parrish, the 12 of Ryan Durrani, the 20 of Trey Wright, and Mitchell Collins in the 10 round out the top 10 here under the first caution here at Kentucky Speedway and a quick one here for the Thorns 125 case saw them getting stacked up there but golly it did not take long at all for them to have problems and Christian Vargas unfortunately at the wrong end of the deal on that one with Jackson Harrison in the 45 but looks like everyone's going to come back out onto the track and resume racing anyway Meantime, let's go down and take a look at what happened to set it off here for caution number one at Kentucky. So watching here coming through turn three and four, Christian Vargas pinching down on Benny Watson. And that's going to tip the 55 around. He will go and up into the field. Nathan Stapleton just barely gets by there. Ethan Lewis, however, gets a piece. Big piece there on that 14. Nathan Smith gets a little bit of a piece there. Owen Miles just barely gets through. There's Ethan Farley getting a little bit of a scrape there on that 10. Goes up into the wall. Jackson Harrison. Just a little nick there on the front of that 45. He might just get, bent that, get that bent back out in shape and he'll be right back out there. But uh, let's take a look at another angle here at full speed of what happened. It's coming through turn four. Christian Vargas just gets down low on the 29 of Benny Watson, pinches him down and gets turned around there. Up into the wall he goes, takes a few other cars with him, but nothing too major. Looks like everyone's going to continue on here at the Kentucky Speedway. Anyway, the uh, track is clear and we are good to go. It looks like it's going to be Braden Perez leading us to the green, or green flag here on the restart. So, speaking of it, let's head to the restart here at the Kentucky Speedway. Or actually, never mind. I forgot. I forgot off the top of my head, Braden Perez came down on the pit road. So, it's going to be uh, Roberto Crown Jr. actually leading us down to the green flag here of the restart. So, let's fast forward to the restart here at the Kentucky Speedway. Everybody's still in the race here at the Kentucky Speedway. Welcome back to your live picture here. The Thornton's 125K. Race 6 of 16 in the 2021 Car Quest Indy Racing League. We have Roberto Crown Jr. leading here ahead of Logan Williams. Noah Clifton, the Kyle Lamy winner. Keegan Thompson and William Brock, the top five right now. Brock coming in as the defending race winner. He won at River Riverside. And having a good start to the race here at Kentucky, it's going to be a cycle race for sure. This is that's how it is with typically most ovals here with the IndyCar mod, and uh, this typically probably is going to be uh, similar to the Auto Club race. Another track that has 14 degrees of banking. This track, interesting, is 20 degrees in turn one and two, and 14 degrees in turns three and four, but still a relatively flatter track. The speed's approaching 200 miles per hour. It's going to be an interesting rest of the race here. Hopefully a clean one, but we'll see what happens. Coming down to get the green flag once again. Pace car comes down. Roberto Crown Jr., Williams, Clifton, Thompson, Brock, green flag. A great restart there for Roberto Crown Jr., Logan Williams, in jeopardy of losing second to Noah Clifton off the restart. He's going to look down low in that 24. And he's not going to be able to have the dive just yet. Going off into turn three of a points leader. Nathan Baird not waiting around in that 41. He'll pounce instead. Down the front straightaway. Logan Williams looking to close in on that 21. The field fanning out three, four wide behind. Off the restart here. Williams is going to get down to the inside of that 21, side by side off the second turn. And he is going to get the lead. Logan Williams will, but here comes pole sitter Will Parrish. Back on the inside, going back for the lead. With William Brock, defending race winner right behind him, as well as the 20 of Trey Wright. Landon Smith Jr. and Trey Smith also down there on the inside. Lana Smith Jr. having just won the Scots National Race over in Phoenix Raceway in Avondale, Arizona. 
He's got a confidence booster coming into this one here under the lights of Kentucky. Meanwhile, it's going to be Trey Wright going to the lead, and Landis Smith Jr. is going to take the dive. Three wide on the inside. All the way down to the apron under the yellow line. No out of bounds here, Kentucky. You can do that. No stupid out of bounds rules here. But now the brothers are going to go side by side. Landis Smith on the outside. And Trey Smith on the inside. Trey's going to take it. Here comes Noah Clifton back. Ryan Durrani in the 12 as well. They're going to go three wide once again for the lead here at Kentucky. Everything relatively clean since the restart. Going to avoid the four wide, though. He can go three wide here and be safe. Definitely want to avoid the four wide. They almost did there. He saw Brock. Brock almost got in between the four of Parrish and the 81 of Arthur Xavier there. Oh, be still my heart. What a wild race we are seeing here at Kentucky so far but uh, only a fifth of the way done here this 52 lap showdown here as looks like it's going to be the 30 of Derek Hamill going down low no attack no chance he goes to the lead Keegan Thompson will capitalize on the opportunity as Derek Hamill slid up Thompson again looking for his fourth win of 2021 here on the Trinity River Network and first of the Cark West Indy Racing League Baird and Parrish going to go back side by side there. AJ Foyt racing teammates there. On to lap number 13. Scott Upton, the 15, is going to look down low. Points leader Nathan Baird, though, slipping back on that outside. That's not where you want to be. You want to be down low or in the middle. It actually might be worse to be in the middle. It's called the sucker hole for a reason. Auto Club winner and Daytona 500 winner Benny Watson Going to the inside of Mitchell Collins for the lead. And he has experience here in the cycle races here on these ovals. He won, of course. Oh, behind! Oh, big crash going off into turn number one. Landon Smith Jr., Daisy Johnson, Ryan Durrani going around. And that's going to bring out another caution here at Kentucky. Second of the race. Coming in behind. Everyone else is going to get by. And no further. Oh, down the back straightaway. Another car going around. That's the one of Vivi Ruiz looks like has blown up and potentially got tipped around there but at the line William Brock leading just barely nosing out the nine of Logan Williams Roberto Crown Jr. third Keegan Thompson fourth Braden Perez in the fifth position as we take the caution flag once again here at Kentucky second of the race and yes, smoke pouring out of the one of B.B. Ruiz. And that follow-up incident on the back straightaway could have been uh, caused by that. He may have blown an engine in the middle of the pack there. But Landon Smith Jr., Daisy Johnson's going to be out of this race. Daniel Bouchard, the 88, also coming down on the pit road. And the rest of the field looks like it's going to be coming down on the pit road too. So we're going to see a two-stop race here at Kentucky. William Brock down onto his pit there. Daniel Bouchard looks like he's just going to get service. And potentially maybe even get some damage he may have received. Hammered out there as he's going to come back out. And it looks like he might be able to stay on the lead lap here. Check that. That's the 14 of Ethan Lewis. Ethan Lewis in the 14 getting damage hammered out there. Daniel Bouchard. There he is. And uh, off the pit road first. Looks like it's going to be the 7 of Nathan Smith ahead of his teammate, William Brock. So the two Aero McLaren cars go to the lead here. The two Aero Schmidt Peterson cars. It's Logan Williams third, Benny Watson fourth, and Roberto Crown Jr. in the fifth position. Braden Perez, he's got to be sitting comfortable now. He has had a very wild start to the season. Even Joey Chitwood would be jealous. He went flying at Pikes Peak and it wrecked with uh, Benny Watson. And also went flying not once, twice at Auto Club. He is sitting in the sixth position right now. It looks like Ethan Lewis. I don't think he's going to be uh, on the slower end of cars here. I think he's just kind of going to be there. But he will probably get shuffled off the restart. 
and Nathan Smith will try to hold on to the lead everything he can to hold on to it but it's gonna be difficult here again as you've seen it is a cycle race here at Kentucky first of now two pit cycles are over and done here in the Thornton's 125 K let's take a look at what happened though to bring out caution number two headed off into turn number one with Daisy Johnson Ryan Durrani and a bunch of others so coming down the front straightaway, headed for turn one, looks like Landon Smith Jr. is going to get into the back of the 59 of Daisy Johnson right there, hook her up into the 30 of Derek Hamill, and up into the wall they go, Trey Smith just barely gets by, there's Charlie Davenport getting a piece, back up into the wall will go Landon Smith Jr., Ryan Durrani, nowhere to go in that 12, and those three go up into the outside wall. Nobody else getting involved, though, but those four cars, Derek Hamill continued on. He didn't spin out, but the 27, 59, and 12 spinning out, and uh, looks like they might be able to continue on, though. Let's take a look at another angle. So here we are, headed for turn one. You see the 27 gets into the back of the 59, just spins her around up into the wall. And uh, thankfully, it wasn't a terribly big crash, but uh, big hits there, absolutely, for those four drivers. And of course, we got to take a look at what happened behind here to uh, BB Ruiz. Looks like it was a blown engine, but uh, let's take a look at one more ankle before we get the green flag. Okay, so watching from overhead at BB Ruiz, Nathan Stapleton down low is going to tip him. Coming out of turn number two and down to the inside. Pounds that inside wall very hard. Nathan Stapleton up on his nose. And looks like Ruiz just hit that inside wall so hard it just busted something underneath that number one. And he is definitely going to be out of the race as a result of this incident. Meanwhile, now the track is clear. We are good to go. So let's head to the restart here at the Kentucky Speedway. We're back with your live picture here at the Kentucky Speedway working the second caution of the race here in the Thornton's 125K. Three cars now out of the race. No, no uh, drivers all continuing here. Nobody is ever... Not every car is continuing after... And we're back with your live picture here at the Kentucky Speedway. Unlike the first incident, not every car is continuing as a result of this second caution. We are working here on lap 18, coming around to get the green flag this time. Landon Smith Jr., Daisy Johnson, and B.B. Ruiz have all fallen out of the race as a result of the last caution. B.B. Ruiz having blown an engine looks like right now, obviously... I haven't seen the replay yet. I'm a, I'm gonna record that in post. So y'all already y'all already know what happened. I do not. But right now it looks like it may have been a blown engine there on the one that caused him to fall out of the race and get spun around on the back straightaway. But Landon Smith Jr. Daisy Johnson both getting into it, going into turn number one. They are now out of the race as well. But pace car is back down and we're gonna restart here at Kentucky. Nathan Smith right to the outside of Ethan Lewis, who did not get going at all off the restart. I thought he might, but looks like he's still got some damage to the left front wing there on that 14. And they're just going to fly right on by. Still McLaren 1-2 up front, but William Brock's going to take a look down low. And he's going to take it away from his teammate Nathan Smith. Logan Williams, though, in the nine, getting right in behind that number five. And while those six, seven or so cars have stretched away, these guys are starting to close back in behind, and they have all gotten around the 14 of Ethan Lewis. And up front, here comes Roberta Crown Jr. down low. He's going to try to lead a lap here at Kentucky. Braden Perez in the 22. He's going to take a peek in behind as well. The field very stretched out here off the restart. This could be good for going green the rest of the way. We'll just have to see what happens. Hope that's what happens. That would be cool. Kentucky gets good racing here with the Indy cars. 
and uh, it's a, it's going to be a good one here to the end. Hopefully, we can have it clean. But Benny Watson, Auto Club winner, going to go down low for the race lead on Braden Perez. They're three wide for the fourth position. Arthur Xavier for Dragon Racing will go all the way to the second position and potentially be taking the lead here. And he will down low with Daniel Bouchard in behind. And Bouchard is going to try to take it from him anyway. He leaves him out to dry. And Daniel Bouchard will take the lead. But Mitchell Collins, Owen Miles in behind. Again, it's a cycle race here at Kentucky. It's what we came to expect. It's what we saw at Auto Club. And a track shaped. Well, this is smaller. It's a mile and a half as opposed to a two mile. But it is very similar in banking. Turn one and two banked 20 degrees. Turn three and four again banked 14 degrees. 14 is what Auto Club is banked all around, but uh, still very similar tracks in layout and banking, and that's why you're seeing what you're seeing here. Very similar racing to what we saw at Auto Club. Three wide, all deep throughout the field. There, got to avoid the four wide though. We've seen what happens. And they're trying to push it coming out of turn number four. They're on the edge of four wide back there, but we'll get back down to three. Thankfully. Right now it's John Andrews up front. He's in jeopardy of losing the lead to the five of William Brock. Points leader Nathan Baird down on the inside there trying to get back up to the lead battle here. He's going to be on the inside there of his teammate, Will Parrish, and Owen Miles in the 28 for Andretti Autosport. But up front, it is William Brock trying to pace the field. Is Arthur Xavier for Dragon Racing going to get to the inside? Daniel Bouchard once again coming with him. And Arthur Xavier is going to go back to the lead. Oh, and behind! Cars going around. It's Trey Smith in the 26 getting tipped around. And the caution will come out for the third time here at Kentucky. A single car spin. Everyone else holding on to it. Back to the line. Daniel Bouchard leads. And Trey Smith looks like he was the only victim there. Everyone else looks like they got out of it. Thank goodness for that. That could have piled up so many more cars. But it looks like that has not happened here. So they have dodged a bullet big time here at Kentucky as it, some car is going to come down and some staying out. So we're right on the edge here where you could make it to the end. The fuel and pit run is 30 laps and we're less than 30 laps to go. Right now we're at 25 laps to go. So if you pit now, you can make it. I'm not sure why you wouldn't pit here, to be honest. Why did these guys stay out? I have no idea. Especially Trey Smith. Why did Trey stay out? He just got he just got spun around and he's still out there on the track. Surely his tires have got to be a mess. Interesting split strategies here at Kentucky. I am very surprised. First off the pit road though is going to be Arthur Xavier handedly over Benny Watson. They build, I believe that's the 21 of Roberto Crown Jr. in behind the 29. And yes, it is. So the 50 of Sam and Oskin will follow them with Nathan Smith right there. And Trey Wright actually is in the third position right now. There's the, that's the other car I thought Roberto Crown Jr. was. He actually stayed out. So it's going to be Daniel Bouchard, Keegan Thompson, Trey Wright, Braden Perez, Owen Miles, John Andrews, Will Parrish, Noah Clifton, Mitchell Collins, and Ryan Durrani, the top 10 here on the restart here in a couple of laps here at Kentucky. But let's go back and take a look at what happened to Trey Smith to bring out caution number three here at the Kentucky Speedway. So watching from overhead here, looks like Parrish is going to get into the back of that 26 and spin him around potentially as Nathan Baird in the 41 just barely holds on to it. Owen Miles just avoids the 26. Mitchell Collins, good job of getting by there. Just barely tips the 26 there. 
and uh, spins Trey Smith around, and uh, he is uh, very fairly clean with that 26. He doesn't look like he has much damage on it, so he'll definitely be able to continue on, but uh, I just still don't understand why he didn't come down on the pit road, but oh well, we'll see if it works out for him. Let's take a look at another angle. So coming out of turn number two, you see he just gets tipped and up into the, up into the wall, just scraping along it, barely he goes. And spinning down to the inside, everyone else able to get by. Trey Smith, fairly clean right now. I don't see very much damage on that 26 at all, so he should be okay. Definitely should have come down for tires, though. I don't understand why he didn't. But uh, anyway, track is clear. We're good to go, so let's head to the restart here at Kentucky. Getting ready to wrap up the third caution here at the Kentucky Speedway. One more car falling out of the race here under this caution. The 15 of Scott Upton has pulled off the track with a valve problem in that Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan car, and he will fall to 27th in a finishing order here at Kentucky. Tough break, but he will be back to race another day. It is Daniel Bouchard leading right now. He's going to be the leader coming to get the green flag once again here just past halfway at Kentucky. Everyone who pits should be good to the end, which would mean everyone behind Trey Smith, basically. I still don't know why Trey Smith didn't come down on the pit road. His tires have got to be a mess, coming, having uh, spun around there, what brought out that last caution. But the he stays out anyway, along with a bunch of others. As the green flag is going to come back out, we are racing again. Bouchard stretching away off the start. As side by side for second, Braden Perez not wasting any time going to the inside of Keegan Thompson. Trey Wright falling back though on that outside big time, very quickly. Oh, and Miles not waiting around either in that DHL number 28. John Andrews in the 98 trying to make it three wide again. He goes down to the inside of the 28. Daniel Bouchard is loving this. While they're not doing it with him, he could try to pull away here. Off of turn two, down the back straight away, John Andrews, who almost won the Auto Club race, almost got around Benny Watson coming down the front straight away off the final corner as they're four wide going through turn four, and they're going to make out of it for now. Already had three cautions in this race. It's been a bit of a crazy one, but have not seen any big pile up here. Thank goodness. Look at the fastest laps right now. Braden Perez right in the middle there right now. Has had the fastest lap of the race to 26.882. And nobody else has gotten into the 26.8s. So obviously, that's just a single lap, and he is slipping back now, so he needs to find that speed once again and get out of the sucker hole there in the middle. Sam at Osgin trying to work his way down to the inside in that 50. He's going to slip on the entry of turn one, though. Daniel Bouchard has led since the restart. Roberto Crown Jr. in behind. Braden Perez, Noah Clifton side by side for third. Going through turn three and four. Perez going to look down low. They're touching, coming out of turn number four. And how in the world did they hold on to it? Mitchell Collins, Logan Williams, and Arthur Xavier were contacting coming out of turn number four, wheel to wheel. And that's the first time we've seen them make out of contact all night long here at Kentucky. Meantime up front, Braden Perez looking to change the lead here. He's looking to take it away from Daniel Bouchard. Sam and Oskin right there and behind in that 50. Super sweet. In behind there in the third position trying to spoil the party. He's looking down low, the 22, and he's going to get side-by-side -side with Perez there. Coming out of turn number two. Side-by-side, -side, headed for three. Logan Williams going to look down low in the nine. Field piling in three and four wide behind. And Keegan Thompson almost chops the 81 of Arthur Xavier there. This is going to be tight coming out of one. Oh, my goodness, around they go. Big crash there on the outside of turn one. Keegan Thompson up and over. Daniel Bouchard's in there. Oh, huge contact. Big, big contact there on the five of William Brock. Who is that? 
That's Ethan Farley, second place points man. And caution for the fourth time is out, and that's the first big pileup we've seen. But it was inevitable it was going to happen with how they were racing. And caution number four is out here at Kentucky. Owen Miles leads John Andrews, Logan Williams, Will Parrish, Braden Perez, the top five. And definitely we're going to see the cars that did not pit under the last caution come down here, I would think. I would think they would. I think some of them may have actually been caught up in that accident. Daniel Bouchard for sure was one of them. He did not come down to the pit road. So nobody coming down to the pit road here that wasn't involved in the accident under this caution here. I am a little surprised about that. Maybe they can make it to the end after all. I don't know. But uh, right now, fourth caution of the race is out. With Owen Miles, who we haven't seen in the lead all race long, leading... John Andrews, Logan Williams, who has been up there, Will Parrish, who started up there, Braden Perez, who was up there earlier, Charlie Davenport, shockingly, is up in the sixth position. Excellent run for him in the later laps here, as he has avoided the carnage and found himself sitting in the sixth position, and there's going to be a whole bunch more out of the race after this one, I think. Even Nathan Smith is missing a tire, as is Ethan Farley, Keegan Thompson was upside down, Trey Wright was back in that, Landon Smith Jr., a twisted wing there on the front of that, Nathan Smith back out on the, or Nathan Stapleton rather, back out on the track, Daniel Bouchard is back out there. So some going to continue, some will not, Ethan Farley first one to be marked out of the race, another car coming down on the pit road looks like, the 14 of Ethan Lewis may get that wing finally replaced on the front of that 14. But caution's still out here at Kentucky. We're still working caution number four with uh, 13 laps to go right now. Let's take a look back and see what happened to set it off here in the Bluegrass State. So it's been building up to this. Arthur Xavier tried to pinch the middle there between Roberto Crown Jr., Keegan Thompson, Daniel Bouchard getting up into the wall there and around they just go. And, uh, and bam, there's Arthur Xavier going up into the 21. And right there, Clifton and Nathan Smith going up into the 60 is what turns the 60 upside down. Arthur Xavier up on top of the wall in that 81. And coming in here, someone is going to slam William Brock right there. It's Ethan Farley. And both of their tires fly off there with a contact. And running into the back of that 60, Trey Smith. Kaboom. And uh, we're going to take some more cars out of the race as a result of this incident, no doubt. This is the fourth caution of the race here at Kentucky. Well, let's take a look at another angle. So watching coming at full speed, headed off into turn number one here. Xavier tries to squeeze in the middle there, doesn't work. Jackson Harrison, even the 45, slammed in the wall there. Five, six cars involved. There's Farley coming in, and Trey Smith right there. Slams into the back of the 60, and a lot more cars are going to be out of this race. But anyway, the track is clear. We're good to go, so let's head to the restart once again here at Kentucky. And we're back here at Kentucky with your live picture. One car blowing up on the apron here. And that is the 55 of Christian Vargas. Who was in 17th here under this caution. Is now going to be out of the race. And join all of these guys out of the race. William, or, well, yeah, William Brock, Trey Wright, Keegan Thompson, Owen. Uh, no, Owen Miles is leading. So Trey Smith is actually who that is, the 26, Ethan Farley, all falling out of the race, all five of those guys falling out of the race as a result of the big pileup going into lap, or turn number one, just a few laps ago on lap number 36. But now, we have 21 cars remaining on the track right now, it's going to be 20 when Christian Vargas gets off here, 
It's going to be Miles, Andrews, Williams, Parrish, and Perez. The top five is the green flag is out with 11 laps to go here in the Thorntons. 125K here at Kentucky. Off into turn number one. Andrews right in behind that 28. Down to the inside. He'll come. And he's going to be... The, he's not quite going to be there going through turn three and four, but he will be coming out. Owen Miles was stuck on that outside line, and Andrews is going to take full advantage of that. Side by side going off into turn number one, and John Andrews is going to take it away. Side by side for second, three wide momentarily as Owen Miles continues to slip back. Perez up front, trying to get the lead from the 98 of John Andrews. Wouldn't be surprised if we had trouble with uh, lap cars here. That's one thing we got to look out for here in these final few laps. Ethan Lewis in particular has been a slow since the first incident of the race. He's just now getting to the start finish line. And well, these guys are coming out of turn number two. <clears throat> so definitely something we're going to be having to look out for for the latter parts of this race is Nathan Baird. Points leader looking for his first win of the season here in the Car Quest Indy Racing League. Pushing Mitchell Collins to the lead but trying oh so desperately to get down to the inside and not let Charlie Davenport get down there first. He'll block the 18 coming out of turn number two and into three. Davenport's gonna take a look! Down to the inside he'll come and Charlie Davenport will go side by side with Nathan Baird. And Roberto Crown Jr. as well is gonna bring Sam and Osgin and Will Parrish with him. Owen Miles right at the back of that line on the inside. It's about to be John Andrews, though. Sam at Osgin, Super Swede's going to take a look down low. Oh, big sideways coming out of turn number two. Big save there by John Andrews. Sliding up the track there. Logan Williams rubbing on Mitchell Collins. They'll continue on straight down the front straightaway. Coming to lap 47. Now, six laps to go here at Kentucky with Owen Miles back up front. John Andrews in behind. That was the order 1-2 on the restart. Benny Watson, however, trying to spoil the party. Auto Club winner looking for his second dub of the season. Braden Perez down low. Three and four wide behind. That turn four is about to be known as Calamity Corner here if they keep this up. Oh, four wide going off into turn one. Bouncing off each other, trying oh so hard to hold on to it. It's not going to work. Into the wall they go. Benny Watson, Sam and Osgin, upside down. Goes the 50. Will Parrish around as well. And it's going to be the drag race back to the caution flag. This is going to be it here at Kentucky. Fifth yellow flag will end it. Owen oh, Miles is up front leading this thing ahead of Braden Perez, Nathan Baird, and Logan Williams. And that will bring an end to the Thornton's 125K. Goodness gracious. A messy race for sure. But Owen Miles is up front. Coming to three laps to go this time. And this will likely be the end of it. Sam at Osgin taking a terrible tumble on the back straightaway. Benny Watson, Auto Club winner, also involved. Will Parrish. Looks like was in it as well. Derek Hamill in the 30 may have gotten a piece as well. He is listed out with a tire problem. Mitchell Collins coming back out on the track, so he will finish this thing. Didn't think they were going to make it to the end there when they were pushing it four wide there. Very, very dangerous stuff there going through turn one and two. And that is going to bring the Thornton's 125K to an end. Owen Miles. We'll, we'll watch here, see if he can lead the thing to the end. Owen Miles 
is ahead of Braden Perez right now, who is on a rebound after two terrible incidents to start the 2021 season. He looks like he's going to come home with a second place finish for Penske. Nathan Baird is going to tighten his grasp on the points lead with a third place finish for that 41 team. Logan Williams is in the uh, fourth position right now in that nine car. Charlie Davenport in the fifth position was in the lead before getting shuffled to the back. But good gracious. Not very many cars, less most of the field has been involved in an incident in this race. It started off as a one or two car incidents in this race. Thought it would stay that way. I hoped it would stay that way, but had a couple of really big pileups there at the end of this race. And the latter one is going to bring it to the end here, working the fifth caution of the race. And Owen Miles is a lap and a half away from his first win in the CarQuest Indy Racing League and his second win ever on the Trinity River Network. Won the Texas Instruments Duel in Cabela's Cup Series Season number 2 and Duel number 2 by 8 one thousandths of a second over Niall O'Hare. And now, one more time around, white flag is in the air at Kentucky. Well, everyone's traveling about 55 miles an hour, 50, 55 miles an hour. Owen Miles, right place, right time, was up front when he needed to be. With the accident coming out of turn number two. Coming into this race in points, I don't think Owen Miles was doing particularly well here in the Car Quest Indy Racing League. I will check that real quick. As we are half a lap away from seeing the checkered flag, Owen Miles actually was doing better than I thought he was. Granted, he had a solid run at Riverside in the Inland Empire Grand Prix, so he vaulted from 22nd to 14th in points. And he is looking like he's going to vault himself up further in the point standings with a huge bonus here for winners in the IndyCar points system. Owen Miles is going to be right up there in conversation for the championship now for the rest of the season. Nathan Baird, though, of course, going to tighten his grip, his grip on the points lead with Ethan Farley crashing out of the race as well as Trey Smith, Ryan Durrani, and Benny Watson as well. With William Brock also, Daisy Johnson, Noah Clifton, I think, is all right. So Nathan Baird's definitely going to increase his points lead. But here's the checkered flag. Owen Miles wins the Thornton's 125K at Kentucky. In a wild race here under the lights. But he holds on and escapes the carnage and wins it here in the Bluegrass State. Now that we know Owen Miles has won this race, let's go and take a look back and see what happened that brought out the final caution here at Kentucky. So watching ahead here of Sam and Osgin on the inside, that is Mitchell Collins getting together with Nathan Baird. Actually, it's going to tip. Mitchell Collins gets tipped up into Will Parrish. Benny Watson gets up into the fencing there on the outside. Sam and Osgin into the back of the four, and right there, Derek Campbell slams the 50, and upside down goes Sam and Osgin, and he'll go tumbling and barrel rolling down the back straightaway as cars continue to spin and slide right behind him. Ryan Durrani just misses it. But Sam and Osgin down against the inside catch fence, continues to barrel roll, and will at some point here come to a rest way up in the air there comes back down on the ground continues to roll now on the backside and 
one more revolution looks like and he just comes to rest on I can't tell if he's gonna go over on the wheels he will go over on the wheels where he lands right side up after a violent rollover let's take a look at another angle so watching again coming out of turn number two Collins and Parrish get together up into Watson there's Hamill getting into Sam and Osgin who goes for the massive rollover there on the inside and uh, he's going to need a new helmet after that because his is probably covered in puke. Probably had a code brown in there too, I don't know. But my goodness, what a wild race we saw at Kentucky. Messy one for sure. Shame to see so many cars get torn up, but Owen Miles, the beneficiary here at Kentucky. He wins the Thornton's 125K. He was leading when the caution came out. Did not come down on the pit road. Nobody came down on the pit road after the... Uh, final caution came out so it was like this order all the way to the end anyway let's go take a look at your finishing results here at Kentucky so well, here are your finishing race results here at the Kentucky Speedway Owen Miles wins ahead of Braden Perez Nathan Baird Logan Williams Charlie Davenport Roberta Crown Jr. John Andrews Nathan Smith Ryan Durrani and Joshua Harrison or Jackson Harrison rather rounds out the top 10, only 14 cars finishing on the lead lap, 16 cars finishing total, and as a result of all the smashing up here tonight under the lights, Derek Hamill, Will Parrish, Benny Watson, Sam Adalskin, Christian Vargas, who actually uh, busted a piston on that 55, he wasn't in a crash, but uh, William Brock, Trey Wright, Keegan Thompson, Trey Smith, Ethan Farley, Scott Upton, Actually had a valve stem break on that number 15. Nothing involving an incident there on that 15 either. So, uh, of these 14 drivers right here, only two did not have something happen that kicked them out of the race as a result of an accident. They were just mechanical stuff. But the rest of them, 12 cars being involved in the incident so signif significantly that it kept them from finishing the race here at Kentucky but Owen Miles up front when he needed to be when that final caution came out and he takes home his first dub of the season in the 2021 Car Quest Indy Racing League congratulations to him we'll take a look at your driver's point standings and we'll wrap it up here in Kentucky and until the next race y'all have a good one